What is going on guys? I'm gonna be reviewing the Snowden adjustable dumbbell set. I'm gonna try and make this somewhat brief. Uh, this is something that I've been eyeing for a very long time and I personally paid money for this. I picked up the Black Friday deal that Snowden is offering uh, still to right now until around January 1st. And according to them, I did reach out to them. They said that deal is only gonna be going again, till right to the new year. And that's gonna be the best deal they're gonna be offering until well into the next year. So if you guys are interested in this, uh, consider picking it up. I've had these for some time, uh, waiting to kind of do a review on this. I've kind of been kept these things out from the background so you guys couldn't see them, but having a lot of fun with them. And this was something I was kind of hesitant on buying because I already have a pair of adjustable dumbbells. I have my power blocks. I had this great flex pair sent to me. And as a fitness reviewer, like I said, I probably didn't really have to review this or pay money for it, I should say. Uh, I paid money for this and also the cast iron um, stack here. You guys are seeing this walk-in uh, weight stack. But I like doing that because I wanna be as honest as I can. I never really like uh, review channels that are just never buying anything. So this is something I always wanted. So I personally wanna take advantage of it. So just to be as transparent as possible with you guys. But again, shout out to Snow for sending me these. Now, if you guys do wanna pick this up, uh, shameless plug, that there's an affiliate link that does help me out and support the channel if you guys are interested in that. But I'll go over the pros and cons about this set. Now, first off, why did I even buy this? I mentioned for some time on the channel, if you guys have been following along, I have a pair of power blocks and those are kind of a fan favorite. And this might be, as I say, often kind of a hot take. A lot of people do love those things and they have no regrets. Um, I do love those things. I've had them since 2011, but since I had a pair of adjustable dumbbells sent to me, the Great Flex pair, I've always been eyeing getting, picking up another kind of better version of those, uh, looking at possibly the Newabel or the Snowed. Newabell is up there because I kind of like the color scheme. I kind of like how they look, but Snowed, you hear so many good things and I just love the cast iron look to them. They're, since they're gonna be, since they are cast iron, they should last a little bit longer. There are some plastic parts, but a lot of things are metal in this thing. It was nothing but good, uh, solid comments and reviews about this. And they're also somewhat drop proof. Now I didn't drop these things yet because again, I did pay for these. I'm kind of babying them a little bit, but I'm also not someone who ever really dropped the weights in the first place. I never really did that. But the big reason why I personally love adjustable dumbbells and love these is this, it's one of those things that makes me want to use it. Converse with the power blocks, I just feel there's something about just the way they feel on certain exercises. They feel great for pressing and pulling, but mine have been kind of loosened up throughout the years. Uh, and now these things, the big limitation about these is they only go up in 10 pound increments, which I actually kind of like the solid 10 pounds because some things like Newabel or other things have kind of like these weird dimensions they jump up to. And even my power blocks, even though they're more adjustable, kind of user friendly with kind of switching in different increments, I rarely would ever do that. I pretty much would just stick to 10 pound jumps. But with that being said, I definitely did want to check out their uh, adjustable magnetic weight plates that go up to 1.25 increments. You guys are seeing the unboxing here and this thing came you know, pretty easy, pretty much ready to go when you pull it out of the box. I love how the cradle is also metal. That's huge, especially when you're considering you know, some cradles out there are plastic. I know a lot of you guys know that. Uh, I was fairly new to this whole adjustable dumbbell thing until I had my great flex. And I did love that thing, but it's always kind of hesitant because I knew if that cradle broke, or something, some sort of sensitive plastic parts there did break, that dumbbell be essentially obsolete. So I kind of babied those, I did love them, uh, but these I like even more. And specifically, the thing I probably love the most about it, other than just the general aesthetics, the fact these things are cast iron, is how this knurling feels. And I don't know if you guys could hear that. I love the sound this thing makes when you're kind of pulling it out of the uh, cradle there. But I just love the way this knurling feels. Night and day, this thing feels amazing in your hand. And I've tried some other adjustable dumbbells. I have a cheaper pair uh, for my wife downstairs. Whenever you hold some of these adjustable dumbbells in this kind of cradle type fashion, the weight can kind of feel uneasy. And especially one of the big things, like I said, with the power blocks that I don't like is that when you're doing things like single joint stuff, lateral raises, curls, it just feels kind of weird. The weight's a little off-centered. It's great for, again, pushing and pulling, but for stuff like this, lateral raises, uh, how this knurling feels in your hand, love the way this thing feels. It literally does feel like a dumbbell. Some of the cons with this though are with these cradle based kind of core adjustable dumbbells is you'll see some kind of flexion here or just some bend in the dumbbell. Whenever you kind of pull this out, there's a slight bend. I don't really like seeing that, but it's one of those things that when you're using it, you don't notice it at all whatsoever. The stand itself, I also love this cast iron stand. And since this thing was on sale, this was one of the things that got me really attracted to it. I figure with the deal that everything kind of bundled together, it did seem like a good price for what I was getting. A con though we're getting into are these magnetic weights. And these things are certainly useful if you're gonna be using them. And I definitely do plan on using them, but they are pretty thick. And the problem is, as you guys can imagine, is that when you kind of pull them out of the cradle and you were to say put two on here, 
I will say, if you even put one in the center or they're kind of slightly off, you don't really notice that, I thought you would. But the big problem is that, yeah, when you rack a weight, say for presses, probably more or less chest presses, and you rack them on your, your knee here, it can be a little weird. Now I tried some heavier weights, I literally just kind of got these. It's not a big deal, but like I said, I'm probably gonna be using more just the straight 10 pound increments. And that's kind of what I wanna wrap up with because while this thing definitely has limitations, one of which still being, even though it's solid metal, I don't know how long this thing will really last. The big thing that is the selling point for me is that this thing just made me wanna use them and made me wanna use dumbbells again. Conversely, my power blocks, as great as they were, I don't know why it was, or just something about the way they felt. Maybe like they kind of like have a kind of a little rubbery grip at mine. These conversely, even with my adjustable, quick change adjustable dumbbells, those great flex I was using, really invites me to want to use them. So I can't say enough about just, I've said this before with other equipment, that if you got a piece of equipment that either aesthetically looks a certain way or just feels really good when you use it, specifically the knurling, like I said, and just how easy it is and inviting to, easy to switch between weights, uh, I think it's well worth the purchase. So when you kind of combine all that stuff together, also the, the longevity and the fact these things are cast iron, I think this is a solid pickup. I know it's the limitations in the weight, but personally I've been doing things kind of with more kind of slower tempo messing around with this. And even with my dumbbells, my power blocks, I really wasn't going above uh, 90 anyways, so I'm not too concerned about it. If you guys have any questions, want to meet this one kind of brief, because I'm sure you're gonna see this a lot in the future. I got some dumbbell stuff planned in the future. One of my favorite purchases, not just saying that guys, of the new year really kind of surprised me. I could go in more detail on that. If you guys got any questions or comments or feedback, let me know and I'll see you guys on the next video.